Hey, welcome back. Do you want to retarget your website traffic on Facebook using Facebook ads? Then continue watching this video. All right, now let's jump into this. And first I want to cover all the things that you need to make it happen. And there are three sort of aspects or pieces to this strategy. Uh, we'll look at that and then I'm going to log into my Facebook ads manager and we're going to step by step create a campaign so you can retarget your website visitors on Facebook using Facebook ads. All right, now let's jump into this. So first of all, here are all the things that you need to make it happen. The first one is uh, check your Facebook pixel. So basically this means make sure you have Facebook Pixel installed on your website because of the Facebook Pixel, Facebook is able to track the traffic that's going to your website or your landing pages, right? So you wanna make sure install, or if it's already installed, in many cases, you know, nowadays, a lot of people already have their pixels installed. So you wanna make sure you check that it is there on your website. Number two is that we're gonna create a custom audience inside Facebook's ads manager in the audience section and the custom audience is going to capture people who are going to your website and now you can retarget people who are going to your website like any page on the website or you can retarget people who are going to specific pages for example the blog pages or the video pages or even the thank you pages um, so that's step number two so number one is install or check your pixel number two is create a custom audience and number three is then we're going to use this custom audience inside the Facebook ad campaign and that's the retargeting so now we're retargeting our website traffic uh, by doing number three now let's jump into this and first I want to show you uh, where do you go and check your Facebook pixel so here I am logged into one of the ads manager ads dashboard that I have now I'm gonna go click on these three uh, bars right here and then we're gonna go to events manager right here and by the time, uh, you know, by the way, <laughs> by the time you're watching this video, if the interface looks different, do not panic. Facebook, Instagram, all these platforms, they change these interfaces very often. Uh, so if you, your screen looks different than this, uh, do not panic, reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to kind of guide you and help you out. Uh, let me go find the right account, which is here. Now, you're gonna see a graph here once this loads. Look at this. So this tells me that we already have a pixel installed and we are getting the traffic back from pixel. If this is the first time, it's probably gonna show you, hey, set up a pixel. And let me actually show you something. Uh, inside data sources, if this is the first time, you are gonna see a screen uh, called setup. So it may look something like this. So you're gonna have to click on the setup and install pixel and basically, if this is the first time, first you have to install your Facebook pixel on your website. And there are multiple options here. What, the one I like to do is email instructions to your developer. So you can email uh, these to your uh, website, webmaster, web developer, and that person can easily add. Or you can also, if your uh, Facebook is partnering up with a lot of different platforms like HubSpot, Shopify, uh, a lot of these Wix, Webflow, I mean, there's so many here. If you're using one of these platforms, all you have to do is just click on that platform and then follow. It will actually show you step by step what to do. So you can easily like install your pixel. Uh, and the third option is, let's say, if you want to do it yourself, one of the uh, on a WordPress, it's very easy. Uh, just copy your pixel uh, ID from here on your dashboard. And then let's say I'm gonna go to my WordPress website and I'm logged into the dashboard. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna install a plugin called Pixel Cat. So let's see, it's gonna open up pretty soon. Here is the plugin called Pixel Cat, and all you have to do is just put your Pixel ID right here and save. So that's another way of uh, adding your Facebook pixel. So there are multiple ways, but you know, before you can retarget your website visitors, make sure your pixel is uh, installed. And how do you check it? If it's already installed, so we're gonna use an extension called Facebook Pixel Helper. So it's a Chrome extension, Facebook Pixel Helper. And when you go to any website, it shows numbers here. That means the Facebook pixel is installed. Sometimes you go to a website, uh, like I was looking at a website recently, this, web, uh, this website right here, there's nothing here. So that tells me there is no pixel on that website. They need to install the Facebook pixel. All right, so that was our step number one, which was either you know install your pixel or check and make sure your pixel is active and Facebook is getting uh, data like that. Now, 
The second step is how are we gonna create the audience? So let's capture people who are going to our website. So for that, we're gonna go click on this uh, events manager all right here. And we are gonna go to a section called audiences right here. And again, you know, if your interface is different than this, don't panic, reach out to me. I'll help you find out because I don't like this fact that Facebook and they keep on changing this interface. Well, I don't like it from user perspective, but I get it because they're trying to always like improve the user experience. That's why they make these changes. All right, so this is your audiences section inside your Facebook ads manager. And you see how we have tons and tons of custom audiences created. Now let's create a custom audience of people who are going to our website. And in this account, for this account, the main website is, it's right here. So I'm gonna copy that URL, let's go back. And to do that, we have to uh, click on create audience and then I'm gonna click on custom audience. So custom audiences connect with people who have already shown interest in your business. So these are the people who are going to our website, right? So click on that and then it's gonna give us a couple of options. So what's the source audience? So your source is, in this case, to build a custom audience, we need a source. So in this case, our source is gonna be uh, our website. So I'm gonna click on that. And now here, uh, let's quickly go through this. It's very easy. Uh, add people to your audience. So again, you know, you can build uh, different rules, like any or, uh, or all, which means it's gonna be an and function. But basically make sure you have the right pixel selected here. And then look at this. So you can retarget or you know, create an audience of everyone who's going to your website. So if you select that, it's gonna be everyone who's going to your website. And you know, especially if you have pixel installed on just one website, you know, you could use that. Uh, and also, let's actually go right here. Or you can also create an audience of people, people who visit specific web pages. So, and then when you click there, then you have a couple of options, contains or equals. So in, what that means is, so for example, let's say if I go here and I wanna target everyone who is going to uh, good stuff page, that's the blog page, right? So what I can do is copy that URL. So I can say equals and put that URL in there. So now I'm gonna target or my audience is gonna be people who are just going to that URL, right? Or I can also do contains. So when I say contains, I don't have to type the whole URL. I can just type whatever comes after my main domain. Like that, so I can do that as well. So that's the difference between equals mean the exact URL and contains mean uh, a portion of your URL, you know, the, the section. And sometimes people do this because they may have a blog section they wanna retarget, Ooh. Uh, like that. They may have a video section on their page, on the website. They may have a thank you page. So that's why it's very helpful to, to look at this. Now, let me actually get rid of this. And I'm just gonna go with, let's say right here. And the other option, uh, uh, one other thing right here is how many days. So you can maximum time, the number of days you want people to remain in the audience. So you can add 30, 60, 90, uh, you know, 180, I, I believe like even like 45. So if you add 30 days, these are the recent people. So that audience is gonna be very hot, you know, because they've been to your uh, website recently. If you add 180, that audience may not be really hot. So, and what, in some cases, what you can do is you can A-B test. You can create one audience with 30 days, one audience with 180 days, and then uh, A-B test those in your campaign. So for this purpose, let's just go with, uh, I'm actually gonna go with 180, right? And then name the audience. So make sure you are like to website traffic to uh, good stuff page, and then 180 days. So I like to name my audience in a way that when I go back, I know exactly what I created, right? All right, so once you're happy with everything, we're gonna hit create audience. And actually, I'm not gonna do that right now because we already have uh, a lot of these audiences created. But let me go back and show you what it will look like. So I'm gonna go and find one of the custom audiences we have created. Look at this, this is exactly what I was looking for. So we already created a custom audience, website traffic to uh, the website. It's a custom audience and right now it's uh, 2,000 and uh, 2,200 people. So this is the audience we created a few uh, weeks ago and here's another website uh, traffic audience we created. 
So once you kind of like save from the previous screen, Facebook will take some time and then your audience will be available. And when it says ready here, that means you can start creating ads with this. So that was our step number two. So we checked our Facebook pixel, all good. <laughs> Then number two, we created our custom audience by going to the audiences section. And like I said, you can create audience of everyone who's going to the website. You can create audience of people who are going to specific URLs, the exact URLs or you know the, the contain section, uh, contain uh, feature of it. Uh, and now, let me show you how you can use this after you have the custom audience. Now, how do you retarget this audience in your Facebook ad campaigns? And uh, it's very easy. All you have to do is when you create your ad set, you will just select the, this audience that you created um, in there. Now let's go back and let's say I want to retarget this audience right here. So what we're going to do now is let's go back to the Facebook ads manager and let's say we are creating a brand new campaign. So I'm going to click on create. And for the purpose of this demo, let's say we want to, uh, let's uh, start over. I'm going to click on traffic. So we're creating like a traffic campaign. We want to send traffic to, let's say we have a brand new, like a blog article or something, right? So come down here and I'm not going to create the whole campaign. I have several other videos that go through the details of campaigns, ad sets and ads, but I do want to show you where do you go and select that the website traffic custom audience. So you're able to retarget. All right. So when you hit continue, so your audience selection is going to be in the ad set, which is the second step of, you know, your Facebook ad creation. The first one is creating campaign second one is creating the ad set the third one is creating the actual ad the video the image the copy all right in the ad set level i'm going to scroll down and you're going to look for this section called custom uh, audience and then you're going to look for a section called custom audiences so all the custom audiences that we created in the audience section it's available right here for us to use inside our Facebook uh, uh, ad campaigns, whether it's a traffic campaign, it could be conversion campaign, it could be engagement, it could be video views. So depending on you know what objective you picked in step number one right here. Now, if you just uh, kind of click here with your mouse, you'll see everything that you have saved, it's gonna show up right here. And I, kinda, I can uh, scroll down and I can go select that. And that's it. So, and you see how right here, it's not giving me the exact number of how many people are in that audience, but we know from the previous just few minutes ago in the audience section, we saw it was like 2,200 people, right? Um, so this is how you select the custom audience uh, says inside your ad set. Another thing you can do is you can also start typing this. So if you remember what name you, in, this is why I like to, the, the names that I do or select for the audiences. I like to select names that are very like descriptive and I can remember. Um, so I just started typing and then it, it shows up right here. So I can select it like that as well. All right now let's scroll down. And then here's another thing. Sometimes you do wanna, let's say, uh, you know, depending on your goals, cause you may have a brand or a website and you're getting traffic like a global traffic from all over the world, but you're in your campaign, you may only wanna target people who live in, let's say New York. So if that's the case, you know, make sure you select the right location. So in this case, in this example right here, where our campaign is gonna retarget our website traffic, but you know, people who live in the New York, right? New York area. So make sure you kinda, you know, do uh, go through all the steps and select whatever you wanna select based on your campaign or goals and objectives. All right, guys, and then you'll basically set your budget and then continue on to creating your actual ad, uh, whether that's you wanna use image, video, uh, carousel ads, or any other format. But this is how you retarget your website visitors on Facebook using Facebook ad campaign. Uh, you know, three-step process again, you know, make sure you have Facebook Pixel installed and check it with Facebook Pixel Helper a Chrome extension. Number two, go to the audience section and create a custom audience so you can capture people who are going to your website, whether the full website or like specific pages. And number three, then while creation, uh, creating your Facebook ad campaign in your Facebook ad set section, you're able to select that custom audience, right? 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know, reach out to me, leave me a comment. I will be more than happy to uh, give you my insights and help you out. Thanks again for tuning in today. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.